Hello YouTube. I hope everybody is doing great. It is a nice Monday morning. Very unusual time for me to make a video. But I'm pressed for time, so here we go. Um, before showing the main attraction here, I will uh, talk about something else for a second, minute or two. Um, I showed you this demo in my last video which is an attitude indicator, also known as artificial horizon or the other way around. And people asked me uh, if I saying it wrong, if it should not be altitude. Uh, no, it's not. It's attitude. Altitude is this little guy also used in airplanes. And this is also used in airplanes or any flying aircraft for that matter. So this one on the left shows you the altitude and this one shows you the attitude depending on your orientation. If I go like this, the video moves as well. <laughs> so anyway, that's the difference and I will show you another altimeter as well on the little guy here. So that was that for any uh, misunderstandings. This is an attitude indicator. So it has some personality and it has an attitude. And um, I'm working on this, designing PCB. And here I have the almost exact code, only this time it's connected to a 9 degree of freedom. Um, accelerometer, magnetometer and gyrometer. That's the nine degree of freedom. And uh, it's um, having breadboard wires connected to ESP module. But you will see if I move that in the roll, you can see it rolling. And this is the pitch. So it is working rather nicely. There's one little thing, maybe you have noticed, maybe not. If I roll, it's pretty stable, right? Roll, comes back. If I pitch, it goes to the pitch, comes back, and then goes to the pitch again. So it goes to the pitch, comes back, and then goes to the pitch again. I don't know exactly why that is. See? It takes about two times to settle in. I don't know why that is. If anybody has an idea, please do let me know. It only happens in pitch, not in the roll. But anyway, so I'm designing PCB for that. Uh, since this module, I don't want to use a module. Well, not this one. I will create my own because the orientation of the module would stick it out too much to the back. So I designed my own module, which is about the size. Of a small PCB like that. Let me see. Yeah. So on paper, you normally cannot uh, visualize how big it is, but it is this small this is a BMP 180 module that I took the chip out but just as a size reference it's I have small hands and it's the size of my finger my thumbnail anyway so I'm designing my own um, nine degree of freedom module and this will be the PCB that's the front where the display will be I'm using this, the same displays. I really like those. And uh, this will be the back. Run, where's my finger? This will be the back running off an ESP module, the Tiny32 module, which is this little guy. And uh, with the relevant circuitry. So that was that. 
uh, I have that out of the way. So again, this is an attitude indicator, also known as artificial horizon. And this is an altimeter. So now to the main attraction. This is my Giga 328 Cube. It has all bunch of sensors. You can change the sensors. It has micro SD card. And this is essentially the same as my OLED track, only in a different form factor. So once I turn it on, you will be presented with the menu that you can use the navigation up, down and push in to select different programs. I have about 20 programs on here, including all kinds of GPS, game and inferent temperature that uses this sensor so you can measure temperature without touching it it has a LM75 temperature sensor on the PCB this is the loader app that's what you see here that's GPS again it has a reaction timer the famous toaster screensaver which I like very much and it has this tiny altimeter code if I push the button I select it and then you can see here that the micro SD card is working it is loading the code of the tiny altimeter so you can have your own codes whatever you have on your um, on your Arduino Uno that you run with the OLED display you can run on this and this is it that's again an altitude it shows the current altitude you can show the minimum altitude that it has measured maximum altitude pressure temperature that is with a um, similar to this module only with the BMP 180 sensor on top of it this code was written by a French guy I will link the code in the description and uh, if you like it I, I really like this code oh and it also has a battery although it's measuring the internal battery and it is running on with a 3.3 volt regulator because obviously of the micro SD card which runs also on 3.3 volts so that is always steady it will go lower once it drops well, um, once it drops voltage here the better indicator that's for uh, 5 volt but I'm not measuring that so that's why it only shows half full because of the 3.3 volt and then you come back to the altimeter again and you can also adjust the code, uh, adjust the pressure on this. How was it? I think long press here. Yeah, you can calibrate it. And then, as you see here, and then go back. Was it long press? Yes. So, anyway. and I really like this so this is for a customer and it will be shipped out today and if you wanna I show you the internals as well let me turn it off oh uh, once you have uploaded the code and you turn it back on it is obviously stays in so you have it again to change it uh, this will be a little difficult on the camera uh, you have a push button here you press that keep it pressed and I use something like my tweezer here turn it on let the button go and then you will see again through here that it's fast blinking and it will upload the main code again the menu and then you can again select any 
app that you want. For example, GPS clock, push in, it will upload it. You see it blinking over here. Well, don't mind the startup screen, but this is the GPS clock. It's, well, I'm inside. Let's wait a little bit. It should normally come back with the clock. Of course, now that I do it on camera, it doesn't, but it doesn't matter. Let me open it up. So this is a friction fit. Because I don't want to obviously glue it down. Because this is the internals. That's the GPS module. That's the GPS antenna. It has a buzzer. Micro USB charging port. And here is the module. And you can just take the module out. And for example, put the temperature module in. And it has a cutout for the temperature module. Because obviously it has to see the outside of the case. Push the case together. And now we do the same thing. We push the button. Turn it on, let the button go, and the GPS works, obviously, I do have pictures from my customers, so it also has a GPS tracker that tracks and writes the data on the micro SD card, so you can take the micro SD card out, obviously, and uh, see where you went. It also has a I square two I square C scanner. If you put any module in there, I two square module, and not, don't know the address, you can find out that. And bar temperature. Push in. It will upload the code. And here it is, in bar temperature. So object is what is in front of it and ambient is the sensor when you touch the case of the temperature sensor it will rise you see here so that's the infrared temperature anyway I am not gonna show you all the examples there's also a very nice <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, <coughs> a very nice um, reaction timer. Um, actually, let me show that to you because I like it very much, and it could be almost a standalone program that you could use. Let me have a sip of coffee. Almost cold. Okay. You have the menu again. Also, a big thank you to Emmanuel, aka Tobozo, in France, also in France. A uh, very good friend. He helped me with the code on the on the menu. So, what I was going to show: reaction timer. Jump boy is also a game, rather simple and stupid reaction timer let me push that in again uploading the code you can see here this LED is connected to pin 13 which is also <coughs> connected to the micro SD card so you have three modes visual on screen audio buzzer and the red LED which you cannot see through this case. I also print this in a white case, then you can see the LEDs. So let's go with the visual first and then choose by pushing in. We push in and then a white circle will appear at random and you're supposed to hit right when the 
circle appears, so it's visual. As soon as you see the dot, you push as far as... Oops, I didn't even see the dot. So that's 348 milliseconds. And then you have audio. Here, as soon as you hear, hear it, you push the button. Again. 184. You are, what I notice is, you are faster with uh, hearing than visual. Amazing, huh? So let's see again. 150 milli. So I do not get these times with the visual. <laughs> I'm jumping the ship here. I'm jumping the gun. Ah! Oh, you see, I'm screwing up over and over again. Let's do this again. Hmm. I did not come lower than 300, so... I'm twice as fast with audio than visual. So anyway, my wife is approaching. Let me end this video. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you for supporting me on Patreon. Five Patreons I have, still five people. Uh, you can support me with uh, ordering something from Banggood via affiliate links. You can support me by buying something from my Tindy store, also in my link below. And you could buy me uh, coffee through a donation via PayPal. Everything is appreciated. I wish you a great week and talk to you on the next one. Take care.